In today's video, I'm going to show you guys where you can monetize YouTube videos that are listed under the Creative Commons license. Basically said, can you download Creative Commons videos and then monetize them on your own channel? In today's video, that is exactly what I'm going to cover. So if you're interested in finding out, keep watching and then let's just dive in. Okay, so if you're new to YouTube and you're not aware about the Creative Commons license, let me explain and show you what it is and how it works. So here we are on YouTube. Now what I can do is type in any specific topic, for example, football. What I can then do is click on filters right there. And then you'll see all of these options. You'll see upload date, you'll see type, duration, features, and sort by. Now what you want to do is go to features and then you'll see Creative Commons. Now, if you click on that, it's gonna show videos that are listed under the Creative Commons license. Now, basically what that means, or what is like what that is meant to mean, is that you can use these videos and pretty much reuse them in your own footage. For example, if I would click on a video, and let me just do that with a different topic, because all of these clips probably have copyright on it since they're game, uh, game highlights. What I could now do is go to vlog, creative comments. I can then click on any of these vlogs. If I then click on pause real quick and then scroll down, click show more, we should be able to see creative comments, attribution license, reuse allowed. So you would say that that means that you can reuse that content and then also monetize it, right? Well, there's like more to it. It's not whether you can just monetize it or not. There's no short answer. So I'm, I cannot tell you like, yes, you can monetize it just because it says reuse allowed in Creative Commons. And let me go into more details on that and pretty much explain how that works. So first of all, we must understand what exactly the Creative Commons license means. So if you upload a video with that, this is pretty much what it means. So Creative Commons licenses give a standard way for content creators to grant someone else permission to use their work. YouTube allows creators to mark their videos with a CC license, and that would then pretty much mean that they can, or like anyone, can reuse that content. If you've marked your video with a CC uh, BY license, you retain your copyright. Other creators get to reuse your work subject to the terms of their license. So pretty much what that means is that if you upload a video using this license, people can actually go ahead and reuse that and use it themselves. However, there's a major difference between simply taking that video and then uploading it on your own channel without any, like anything else, or like any like modified edited clips or whatever it is. You just simply download it and you then upload it. Would that work? No, that would not work because basically what you're then doing Yes, you are taking the content, which is allowed. So you like you're allowed to use that content. But if you're simply going to copy and then paste, what you're doing is you're taking that exact same video, meaning that if there's a channel, for example, this one that is always uploading their content to Creative Commons license, you can just take their entire channel and just copy it and just start the exact same channel and then make money from it. Even though this person is doing all the work, you're gonna upload the exact same thing. You can still make the same amount of money. No, that is not how it works. You cannot monetize that in the first place. So basically what that means still, because you might be confused now, you're like, okay, but I can use the videos, but I cannot monetize it or cannot use it, right? So basically what this means is that you can reuse the content in your own videos, or you can reuse the content in a new piece of content. But it's not about just downloading and then uploading the exact same video. That is not how it works. But often, a lot of people still think that that actually works. But in 2021, that doesn't work anymore. Basically, YouTube has systems in place where they can detect that a video is the exact same video. So if you would upload the video that you're watching right now, if you would download my exact video, right, you would do that. I will be able to see it in my studio because YouTube knows they've got systems in place and I will get a notification about you stealing my video and I can then uh, put a copyright strike claim in place. And that is what these people could do as well. Now, if you're doing reuse content, right, you're not going to get monetized. That's the main issue here. So for example, if I type in reuse content, YouTube, you'll come across a lot of people that are having issues with this. Reuse content, YouTube monetization. So you cannot reuse content and monetize your videos. Now you can see a lot of people are actually like saying like the final solution, blah, blah, blah. But these people are probably referring to content where they're not using voiceover, stuff like that. They will, uh, they will get turned down into the YouTube partner program, denied 
under the like reuse content, which is kind of like BS if you ask me. But if we like strictly look at the reuse content stuff, you're not going to get monetized. So if I were to download Creative Commons videos right now, I would not be able to monetize them if I simply re-upload them. What you can do is take these videos, take pieces from that content and put it into a new video. That is totally fine. You're not going to get in trouble with that and you can actually monetize it. But if you're just going to take the same video and upload it, not going to work anymore. Definitely not in 2021. And then the other major like issue that I found with this, which is really important, is that you never know if a person actually like uploaded it as Creative Commons. He might be confused. Basically, what I mean by that is, for example, go to my channel, right? What you'll see is that I'm not uh, uploading under the Creative Commons license. I'm just under the normal license. So what people can do is click on a video. If they then scroll down, let me see. Uh, they'll see that this is just like the normal license, no Creative Commons. But if someone actually goes ahead and simply downloads this video and then uploads it under Creative Commons on their own video, I mean on their own channel and that video goes viral a lot of people will see it and they'll think that all of that is creative commons even though i the per like the original creator did not even upload it as creative commons in the first place but what that pretty much means is that i can go to uh, mr beast right now i can download his videos i can re-upload them real quick on my channel list them as creative commons and then that would mean that people would be able to use mr beast's videos Pretty much, right? Doesn't make sense because he didn't upload it as Creative Commons. I'm the one that uh, broke that rule. I downloaded the video, I then uploaded it as Creative Commons, and then a lot of people think that they can use it pretty much. That's the main issue that I have with Creative Commons, but especially in 2021, guys, don't even bother. Don't even try and go ahead and just do Creative Commons. What I mean is that you don't simply download the video and then upload it without any like editing or any changes in the first place. It just doesn't work. It has worked in like 2017, 2018 maybe, maybe even before that, but then after that, like 2019 didn't work. 2020 didn't work anymore. 2021, definitely not. And then the years to come, they're only gonna cut down on stuff like that because they don't want this, like they don't want recycled content to be out there on YouTube all the time. Okay, but that is pretty much it guys. So does it work? Not really. Can you still use those clips in your own videos? without any trouble, yes, you can. So you can monetize that, but you can just like download and re-upload. And then you've got this issue where you never really know if the original creator actually posted the video. But yeah, that is pretty much it, guys. So hopefully this video gave you the right information, everything you needed. If it did, please go ahead and leave a like on the video. That really helps me out. I appreciate that. Leave a comment down below if you're still gonna try and use Creative Commons videos in your own videos or whatever you're gonna do. Let me know. I've been, I've been interested, my bad. And yeah, I'll see you next time. Have a good day.